Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. And guess who birthday it is? Fun the Bunny he loves that's their call. I think he loves that cigar more than his own life. That's pretty much what he's saying while he's smoking. I don't know why he exercises and doing all this extra stuff. And he's still smoking. Ooh, but knowing him, he'll live to be 100. Okay? And you sure ain't worried about his diet. I don't know if that funnel cake, y'all. What's that? What is that? Some kind of phone cake, sponge or something. This was given to him more than likely from a friend. Or maybe the lady that sold him his house and Porsche is trying to write cryptic stuff. I fell in love with doing my own thing, minding my business and being inaccessible. I love it here. We want you to stay there too. We want you to stay just right there. Because you were minding your business when you were sneaking up in the house and getting Fallon taken care of, meaning moved out the way so you can die right on in now. You were minding your business then. We ain't going to get on you. And we're going to get on Simon too much today because it's his birthday. Happy, 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 happy birthday. Okay, to you. But I've never seen a man that loves to take pictures by cars and loves to smoke cigarettes. What kind of person do we, do we call that a vain person? And the car probably not even heals. Because y'all told me he was babysitting cars. So I'm like, he got his own little car club going on there. <laughs> I like Simon. When are you going to really show us who you really are? Okay? It's not like you're a mystery or anything. It's, we just know this head. I know this head. You know? But to me, I'm still thinking you're doing something that you can't talk about because it's pretty much illegal. But that's just hearsay. That's just hearsay. But hopefully Portia know what she getting into, child. Oh, she ain't letting you go, honey. She don't care how bad you are to her. How you treat her in certain instances. She don't care. She just know you have a little bit more money than she does. I'm guessing. And she wants to have a man on her hand. Can't be by herself. Oh, baby. Oh, fine. And her big sister Nene, she going around the same boat. So I guess maybe Portia has to be sued, too, I guess, over that man. Okay. Well, at least we can say Simon is divorced. <laughs> because Fallon wanted to make sure of that so she can continue with her life and don't have to put her life on hold. Other than that, Simon probably would have been uh, still have not to get some papers in order, but like I say, don't trust, don't trust Simon. No further than I can throw him. You know I can't throw him nowhere, and that's the the, the extent to why I say I would trust him. But if Portia want to live a naive life and thinking he's gonna give her all that her heart's desire. And all of that. And she keep wishing, hoping, praying. Because I just don't see it. For some reason. Some reason I can't put my hand on it. My mind on it. My finger on it. He is just using you, Portia, for my comfort. Because who knew about Simon Cavalli? I mean, he had a restaurant that went belly up. I don't know what really happened to make it go belly up. Or are you just tired of it? Who knows? But that shit closed real quick, fast, and I heard. I don't think it was in existence. 
for more than five years. Okay? But you think this man is your saving grace. Okay, girl. All right. Just like Nene Love Affair. Messing with a married man. She said he get ready to pay for that man a hundred grand or more. But like I said, happy birthday, happy birthday, Simon. They say 85, baby. What, what the calendar's flipping on me? Why you got them little bitty calendars like the kid calendars and shit? Oh, we just can't pull up, can we? That don't look like no shelf to may order. Okay, that look like one you buy to pro up public. What's wrong? You eating store bought stuff now? You on a low budget scale now, Simon? Because you know, you're the millionaire. Now, this one shocked me. Thank you, baby Diane, for sending it to me. Is he proposing to her again? Once again? Because this don't look like his area at his house. It might be, but I ain't remember seeing no palm trees. Or maybe that's a little awning they got there. It seemed like they may have went somewhere and spent the night in a hotel, I'm guessing. And this is, I don't know. Oh, did this come on his birthday? He proposed to her on his birthday. What y'all think, y'all? Because my family member said, no, this was recent. He proposed to her. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't know why she crying and carrying on. Weren't they supposed to be already proposed to? I'm confused. Or she's waiting on the new ring he's supposed to get because I guess we dogged her out so much about that rock being so similar to Fallon's. She had to have another one. So I'm like, he did a trade in, girl. Did he do a trade in? Was that something that was just cut? Or that was just something cut for somebody else? And it was just in, you know, back there in the storage closet at whatever retailer he brought it from. Or did he custom make it just for you? Were those your specific allocations and how you wanted the stone to be set in the ring, girl? I guess we'll be seeing your ring tomorrow because you can't hold water. You got to put it on front street for everybody to ooh and gaga out of. Like, that's your baby. Like, this big-ass Rolls Royce. Is that your Rolls Royce, Simon? Tell us, man. We know you want to front that watch. It's probably cost, what, 20 grand from hell, so shit, okay? When you have to flaunt and boss up and have people take pictures of you, you ain't pretty much doing nothing. You full of shit, what we're saying. We need you to be like paparazzi. You be in action. You be in motion. Mind your own business. And you don't know a lens is being captured on you and photos are being taken. You know how it's like a PI private investigator. You trying to go investigate somebody cheating and whatnot. They have to stand in the bushes and, you know, have to, what do you call it, camouflage themselves with the rest of the people. So you won't be the wiser that they're actually following you. I mean, you really want that celebrity life, don't you? And celebrities that are really true, true celebrities, they don't want to be filmed. They don't, and the hand time, they ain't sharp. They just in everyday clothes, whatnot. They got the hair down. Their belly's relaxed. And they doing them. You got to come out here. I don't know, Simon. That, that top look like a short mini dress for Portia to get into. I don't know. Maybe you need a new stylist. Okay, you just need a new stylist. Cut it out. I will say to go over to Scammer Man, which is Nene's boyfriend. She's playing. You do too much over there. I don't want you to get caught up in shit. Because you already in some shit you ain't letting us know about. There ain't no sense you going over there and doing. But you probably don't want to pay the money. Because, you know, his stuff look expensive. Okay? They look expensive. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I would like to know, what did you do on your birthday? Because we saw this shit yesterday. So I'm like, you were already posing for the camera, honey. But you posing for the camera, or you were partying last night. And they just weaned in and mixed with today's, you know, calendar date. And you had to go and, I don't know, somebody bought you on public. So, what do you call it? Kmart, Kate. Okay. thought I said Kmart. I meant pro. Woo, child. Yep, that's one thing we cannot say about you. You are going to show them cars, and you're going to be by them with your cigar. That's your statement. That's your, that's your do thing. And I guess we should say, when are you going to get uh, activated with the blue check? Because it looked like uh, the scammer man who Nene calling herself supporting over there like a child. He got his. I don't know. Nene might have paid $2,000. But he had a lot of followers. He didn't have no followers like that until he got up with Nene. 
But you need to get screwed from both ends, okay? Getting screwed from both ends. I wonder what you're going to be doing to Portia. Because right now, Portia's in La La Land. She's in Happy Land. She's in Candy Land. Don't know if she's playing checkers. Oh, no. But it just is what it is. She wants you. She thinks she got it all. And you just everything and a big bowl of chips, okay? With her sweet brown liquor to the side. I guess she a Hennessy baby. She put all these pictures of you and her. I'm pretty sure they're past pictures because they're more in a tropical place. And in Atlanta, we're not tropical. We're just full of heat and dirt, okay? Heat and dirt. Ooh, that's an ugly picture of you, boy. She looked like your money there. But anyway, moving on. I don't know who they were making it rain on. Was it you, Simon, or was it Portia? Who was being a hoe at the time? Tell us what we want to know. But yes, honey. I don't know what's going on with that picture. Mm, that's too much. And it seems like you are right. She liked using filters because that looked like a filtered out picture. Like, honey, show us your real deal. Show us your son. Simon look older than what he's really being cast in these photos. Portia, you can't fake the phone now, baby. You can't put makeup on because he's, he's like a little pig. He'll sweat all this shit, run all down his shirts and everything, mess up everything. Like somebody tried to slaughter him or something, child. Ooh, child, honey. Ooh, baby. Mm hmm. But you like living that fun, sunny life? With Sonny D head over there. He can be called Sonny D head, y'all. For all the time, Sonny D head. What y'all think about that? What y'all think about that? You look like the Tin Man. <laughs> or the, the Cowardly Lion. Oh, Lord. Why, are you, why am I in Dorothy and, oh, uh, what's it? The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> well, he did kind of look like Tin Man. He did kind of look like the, uh, the Lion. The Cowardly Lion. But I, don't, I never understood why he must have trouble with his eyes because he always have shades on, even when he didn't necessarily have to have shades on. Like when he was taking a picture by the Rolls Royce that we just got finished seeing. There was no sign out there glaring where he had to put, you know, the shades on. But hell, he get up in the arena with shades on. Like, there are the eyes to the, to the soul. Is when we look at your eyes, we're looking at the eyes to your soul, Simon. So don't cover it up unless you got something to hide. But happy, happy, happy birthday to you. And that's all we got here, guys. I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.